Greetings, Earthlings! This is the 7,000 subscriber special of BSP! <laughs> I thought I'd start it off like that, because it's getting close to Halloween. So, um, yeah. Anyways, to start this off, I'll tell you why I haven't uploaded um, Tornado Star Madness lately. It's because the episode I'm, I'm uh, doing is uh, Tornado Star Madness Amusement Park, and I've named the amusement park exclamation point with an E at the end of the word point, so I thought, I thought that was pretty clever. Mom and Dad thought it was pretty good, too. Um, but that one has a lot of animated scenes with um, roller coasters, um, with Ferris wheel, uh, dirt biking scene. Yeah, it's a, a script uh, by uh, Sarah's Cartoon Channel, uh, formerly Vince Nichia. Um, uh, and that script uh, has a lot of animated little bits, and it takes a while to animate that. Plus, on the other side, I've been uh, 3D printing a thing that takes over a week to print, and I had to keep an eye on it every once in a while. I'll go check on it every once in a while to make sure that it wasn't, you know, breaking or anything. And after all that was said and done, the uh, print that took a week to finish and used over half my material roll unfortunately broke in the process of printing. So I gotta reprint it. It has a big crack down the side from a layer separation. But anyways, let's get into the Q&A. Jason Huell says, How is the Mini Thunderbolt project going? Well, to answer that, I'm reprinting the whole thing in higher resolutions so that way it matches the color and resolution printing of my Mini SD10 siren and in the other future sirens I might make with my 3D printer. Uh, because the old Mini Thunderbolt is all low res and like a brighter yellow. Um, so I'm reprinting the whole thing and I'm thinking it's going to look a lot nicer than the original Mini Thunderbolt. It's going to be the same shape and size, it's just going to look a lot better than it originally did. But of course, the blower box broke in the, pro the process, so yeah. So that's how Mini Thunderbolt's going. So it's basically going through a rebuild. Bulldog Plays says, Did you make up Blockhead and what makes you want to be single? Yes, I did make up Blockhead, and I have a 3D printed Blockhead, which I will go get here shortly. And it looks like this. Um, uh, get closer to the camera so you can see his face. There you go. Um, I 3D printed this. As you can tell, it's unfinished because it ran out of white material while it was printing. So, yeah, it's also printed solid because the white material that came with the 3D printer was very translucent. So with any infill, it would have looked very unprofessional because you'd be able to see the infill. Also, it doesn't stand up very well sometimes. Kind of like that. Anyways, uh, I'm hoping to uh, remake this at some point with all the material I'll need at some point to make it work. And hopefully make it stand better too. Oh, I want to be single because I just think it's easier. And I can get more done when I'm single because I'm not as busy with any sort of relationship or anything. Plus I'm just not into uh, relationships at the moment, so yeah. Um, Joanne Steely commented, Are you planning on adding any more lightning sirens to TSM besides Thorguard? I do know there's one other lightning siren called the uh, lightning bug or weather bug or something like that that has like has one horn in its single tone and I believe it has a white strobe. The horn points down towards like a cone or something and that's supposed to direct the sound in all directions. Kind of a cheesy way of making it omnidirectional. Weather radios and sirens 011. You know, copy weird. Um, uh, yeah, it copied uh, the I like that P50 sound twice when I copied it to the notepad document. Uh, P50 sound, is it auto-generated? Uh, yes, so, well, sort of. I synthed it using 8-bit uh, sawtooth wave, 8-bit sawtooth wave tones and audacity um, to make the pitch of the um, P50 what it is, to make it sound the way it does. So, yeah. So, basically, it's an 8-bit P50. And I think you're refer referring to when it was in G major. Yes, I just made it in G major as well for the evil P-50, the big red P-50 in some of the evil P-50 episodes of Tornado Siren Madness. Scoops63 asked me what was the siren next to the diaphone. This was uh, a party, one of the Party Chaos episodes, I think. Uh, that is a white siren on top of a, um, a, a fruit building in Sacramento, California. It's made by a siren company known as E.D. Bullard, but I do not know what the actual name of the siren is. I know the siren company's name is E.D. Bullard, but I don't know, or Bullard or whatever, and I, but I don't know what the actual name of the siren is, so that's why I haven't really put in the name yet. I just have three question marks underneath it, so yeah, until I find out the actual name. If I can't find the name, I'll just name it E.D. Bullard. Kind of like I did with when, when I was doing early TSM, when I named the, 
the, the sirens like ATI and Whalen. I didn't know the actual names of the sirens back then. If I were to make those sirens again today, I'd be naming them HPSS 16 and 3016. ATI is an HPSS 16 and Whalen is a 3016, but he's not very well drawn because I wasn't very skilled at drawing sirens back then. Because they remember they're the early characters of TSM, ATI and Whalen, so yeah. Anime Warrior Pharaoh says, How do you make those crazy siren videos? Like TSM shorts and TSM world. I think he means random siren shorts in TSM world or Tornado Siren Madness world. Um, I actually have a Tornado Siren Madness behind the scenes video. You should check that out. Link in the descript. Random siren shorts is kind of the same principle except I take uh, pictures of Tornado Sirens from Google Images and put them in paint and then either draw on them or just use them the way they are and then just use Movie Maker for like putting the frames together together to make them actually the way they are and animate and make them talk to each other. And the voices I use are Vokey voices. Also a link to uh, Vokey.com is also in the script. But, um, <coughs> yeah, it has, it's like a, uh, a voice synthesizer program that um, also has like animated faces you can customize. And they're all text-to-speech voices you can use. Also, Anime Warrior Pharaoh also says, How do you put all those sirens... Or how do you put together... How do you put together all those sirens, BSP? Well, that is, um, because, that, that's because I have a 3D printer, I... 3D model the files in a program known as 3D Builder, and then I um, 3D print them and put them together with screws and a screwdriver. Andy Wallace asked me if I'm going to make a 2810. No, I do not have enough speakers for that. I'm not going to be able to get that many speakers either because I don't think Hobby Town has that many speakers. I was very, uh, a while ago, um, envisioning in my head making a uh, Whalen Vortex, a mini Whalen Vortex, because that only has four speakers. But I'd have to make another electronic siren control for that, so that can be kind of tricky. So I'm probably not going to do that. Elizabeth Evans asked me what I use to make my videos. I already answered that. I use Movie Maker and paint for the animation parts. Draw them frame by frame. Uh, Rainbow Railroad Crossing uh, asked me if the sounds from uh, Bouncy P50 are from Namco's Mappy. Well, yes, the bouncing sounds, those are the trampoline sounds from when you bounce on the trampoline in Mappy. I just kind of altered the pitch for each bounce to make it sound a little funnier, I guess. Garden City, Kansas, USA, um, asked me if I have a Century 10V siren. I don't even have a full-size siren. Oh, and speaking of that, phones, computers, plus vlogs uh, told me I need to get a real full-size siren someday. Do I look like Bill Gates? I'm not that rich. Real full-size sirens are usually really expensive. Uh, Neil Prasad 1905 comments, In what way do you convert the 8-bit songs into actual rock music songs, like Emotional Meltdown, which you use in Crazy Sirens 2, and TSM Party, like it's 2017? I use a program known as Mixcraft 8, and I just um, remade the song note by note with the MIDI instruments they provided, using uh, the overdrive guitars and elect other electric guitars to make it sound like a rock song. It's the same thing I used to make that song, Trapped in a Cage of Love, um, which was a Tornado Star Madness music video I made back in February, I think. Back, back around uh, last Valentine's Day. Uh, Putras Zolfitri asked me if I broke my own siren. No, my um, my dad uh, almost did. Here's the story. Back about a month ago, um, I got in trouble uh, for being a, a you-know-what to my parents again. Um, and my dad got really mad. I was being unreasonable with him. And he was, uh, like, about to flip. He was, he was, um almost raging, but, um, because I didn't feel any remorse for what I did, I'm not going to go into detail of what I did, but, um, my dad, um, he was really near the table that my mini Thunderbolt was on top of, and he was like, he was got his hands on it, he was like, would it be reasonable for me to flip this table, huh, would it? Something like that, and I just told him no, uh, just to save my mini Thunderbolt from utter destruction, but, um, yeah, he was like, good, don't do that again, or something like that, after I said that. Now I have my mini Thunderbolt on a dining room table, that would probably be impossible for him to flip, so it should be okay now. And I just realized, um, uh, Putro was actually talking about the Mega Blaster Jr. Here's a story about how I accidentally broke the Mega Blaster Jr. I was throwing a pillow up to my dad, and I tried to throw it, like, over the Mega Blaster Jr. to my dad, but it knocked the side of the head and cracked the rotational rod, so that's why I had to replace the rotational rod, but it works fine now, as you can see by the, uh, intro with the 7,000 subscribers thing, the Mega Blaster Jr. is now functional again. So, yeah. Except, um, it is gonna, uh, possibly, 
possibly, maybe, at some point undergo restoration if the mini Thunderbolt takes its place. So, um, yeah. Cool Domino says, what pitches did you use for the evil P50? Uh, that's, uh, well, P50's normal voice is Microsoft Sam, but I changed the pitch down by negative three in, uh, Audacity. Um, and for Evil P50, and then I just, um, uh, G major affect it, which is, um, something that's kind of hard to explain, but you just basically take the, the thing and duplicate it six times, and then, like, the first one is, uh, for change pitch, you go to 100, then the next one change pitch to 50, then the next one you change pitch to 25, then the next one you leave alone, then the next one you change pitch to negative 25, and then the last one you change to negative 50. And then when they play on top of each other, it makes that G major sound effect. Sarah the Cartoon Channel uh, asked me for my 7,000 subscriber special. Can you contact the plush making factory and make TSM plushies? They'd be very cute. I feel like that'd be kind of a lot of work, and um, I don't think I'll be doing that, because I feel like at some point they'd probably turn out all weird looking and stuff. But, um, I like what you're thinking, though. That would, probably would be uh, pretty cool if that would actually work. But something tells me they probably wouldn't do that. Your average rail fan commented, How did you get that T-bolt at the end to move with a random Siren Shorts 14? Um, I just took a picture of a Thunderbolt I found on Google Images with a clear sky background. So that way it's closest to, um, sort of a green screen kind of thing as I can get. Um, so that way I can just, like, as I skew the pole... Uh, to make it do the caramel dancing, I um, I kept leaving these white spaces because of how I was doing that. And what I did is I just stretched the sky. I selected a little bit of the sky and just stretched it over that white. And because the sky is so clear in the background, you can't even notice that that I, that I did that. And then, of course, for making him do this with his antenna, I just I you read that Thunderbolt originally did have an antenna in the picture. I just kind of covered it with the sky and then copied and pasted it and edited it so that way it's kind of like this as it's doing this. Anyway, that's all the questions and answers I have in this file. This is Brogan Solar Panel signing off.